Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with Angular inside of Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So Angular is a platform for building mobile and desktop web applications. It is a TypeScript based open source web application framework. And also, Microsoft Visual Studio is an integrated development environment, IDE, and is used for developing computer programs, websites, web applications, services, and mobile applications. So enough of all of the talking and let's get to the real stuff, yeah? So as you can see on the screen, I've got Visual Studio installer opened, right? So if we come to the screen, first of all, what we would do is we're just going to launch it and see what actually comes up so here we go to the create a new project so as you can see here now we don't have any templates with the exception of the blank solution so this is what we're going to do yeah we're just going to close this yeah so we come back to the installer and then we click on the modify so here as you can see uh, there, are there are a bunch of workloads that we can add so first of all we're just going to add the asp.net and web development yeah so so this is uh, this actually helps you build applications using asp.net core um, asp.net and the standard base web technologies including html etc yeah so we check on this box yeah also we have to check on this box the the node.js development workload yeah so as you can see from what i'm seeing here the, the total space required is five six nine so we're just going to click on the modify so this will actually install i mean it will download and install all the necessary components needed for this video so i'm just going to pause it while the whole thing loads Okay, so now we've got the downloaded installation completed. So what we do is we click on the launch, yeah? So we come to the create a new project. So as you can see here now, we've got a couple of projects added to it now. So we can select a uh, TypeScript, yeah? So here we could, we should get a couple of projects. So as you can see here now, we have got um, the standalone TypeScript um, Angular project added to it, yeah? But if you don't see it, if it's not showing up here, this is what you gotta do. You can close this bit here and then come to the modify. So once you select or you select this here, the ASP.NET and web development, once you select this bit here, so you, could, you can add the the .NET Framework project and item templates to um, to the workload to be downloaded and installed, yeah? Also, you're gonna have to add the additional project templates, yeah, this from the previous versions, right? So once that bit is sorted out, then we can come back and actually launch the Visual Studio. So here we create a new project. So we select the TypeScript and then um, scroll down. So here we have the the standalone TypeScript Angular project. Yeah. So so here obviously you can configure the project details, i.e., project name, uh, the location of the project solution, and then the, the solution name. Right. You can make changes to that here. Then you click on the next. So here, you can actually choose to integrate an MTASP.NET Web API project, right? Or you could just leave it as it is. So we're just gonna leave it just like that, yeah? It's not for this video. So what we do is click, I mean, click on the create. So as you can see here now, We've actually got the project created now. So we've got the source. But before we actually go ahead, we 
open a command prompt so we, we're just going to check if we've got the node and uh, angular cli installed so we're just going to put ng version so if we've got all the necessary stuff installed there we should get them here so basically we've got the angular cli as 13.3.2 we've got the node then we've got the packaging the package manager the npm and whatnot so we've got pretty much everything to get us started yeah so what we do next is just gonna we just i'm just gonna run it from the local host so i'm just gonna pause it as this might take a while for the whole thing to run okay so as you can see here now i have the angular application running on the local host yeah port 4200 so as you can see here now we've got the angular project 2 up running and we can have a look at it here so as you can see the angular live development server is listening on the on this port here and it's compiled it's actually compiled successfully so it's not it's not really really difficult yeah so what I'm gonna do so what I'm gonna do is just gonna stop it from running and we're just gonna create another one yeah create a new project and it's an angular project again this time we're actually going to use the we're going to add the integration for mtasp.net yeah so it's actually saying directory name is invalid So what I'm going to do is just going to create it from scratch, yeah? Well, we're just going to leave it as it is here. So we're just going to add it directly and see if it's going to come. So as you can see here, uh, from a, a new project altogether, it's actually created. Yeah, so it's pretty much the same. So what I'm going to do is just going to leave this video here and we continue to build on what we've actually started here on the Angular. Yeah, so once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. Have a lovely day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.